Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Sagittarius. Sagittarius, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also a friendly reminder, I am available for private reading. So if you would like one, the links are down below in the description box. And some of you may have heard I did have a rough couple of days, so I truly appreciate appreciate your patience and your understanding just as I get back into my rhythm and flow here with readings. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Sagittarius for their highest and greatest good. All right, so we have the Four of Cups in reverse. I do like that. Your person showing up as possibly a Libra somebody superficial or maybe they're acting aloof they know they were unfair in the relationship not pulling their weight or they were unfair to you yeah and you looks like you've cut this person off their true intentions though are to come around in some way shape or form they're strategizing they're being patient and we have the high priestess energy in reverse pisces energy this person is going to show face this person is going to show up when you least expect it, Sag, and we have hermit energy. Now, you could be, you could have Virgo placements, they could, you could be in hermit mode, maybe they are, but I definitely feel like they're strategizing to come towards you. This person knows that they were unfair or, you know, they were, um, you know, they acted aloof. It, it looks are a bit deceiving here with this person is what I'm getting with the justice card. With the four of cups showing up in reverse, it's like this person, <laughs> sorry, it is sprinkling here. And I've got a dog who's very dramatic and afraid of any type of rain. So she just hopped onto my lap. So just hold on one second, Sag, while I fix the camera and fix the, fix the puppy situation. All right, so with the Four of Cups energy here in reverse, it does look like there's going to be an unexpected love offer coming your way. And this person, you know, maybe they weren't emotionally available to you when you were together. Well, they're definitely going to try to change that. The Ace of Pentacles tells me you do have a new opportunity here. Now, it could be somebody brand new other than this person if you're done with them. But it could also be this person coming in because they see the potential in this connection. Yeah, and I feel this was emotionally draining and you've walked away from this. Maybe this person is realizing that their behavior wasn't giving them the results that they needed or they wanted. I feel this person's really missing you. I feel like they're doing a lot of contemplation introspection here about you, Sag, um, and about this connection. So with the Justice card showing up in reverse, this person is, um, yeah, like I said, I don't think they were pulling their weight. You know, the shadow attributes of justice or Libra and energy can be superficiality. It can be vanity. It can also be somebody who just can't make up their mind or make a decision. So they may have been really indecisive with you. Um, and this is also maybe somebody who really cares about optics. Like they really care about how everything looks almost to the point of not being true or authentic to themselves. Yeah, Two of Cups, they're seeing you as soulmates here, and the Page of Swords, they're spying on you, so they haven't really left your side, Sag. They're definitely spying on you. It looks like you're not talking to them. Some of you, they're worried that you've moved on with this Knight of Cups energy in reverse. They also may feel like you want to be indulged, but there's a big part of me that feels like you need to be indulged by this person because they weren't pulling their weight. They might owe you money. They might, might owe you an apology. You might have been the one that was just holding everything together here. And I do think that they're recognizing that. Look at that. And they're seeing you as justice card. They know they need to make it up to you. See, they know you acted right, that you acted above board with them at all times. And I feel like they let their ego get in the way or maybe their selfishness here. So with the seven of pentacles, this person is definitely strategizing about how to come towards you. Um, they haven't let go of you, you know, at all. And we get, yeah, there we go, four of pentacles. They haven't let go of you and they've got a lot of love for you. So I do think you're going to get a love offer here, Sag. Now, of course, it's going to be up to you to be discerning whether or not you want to accept it or you want to deal with this person in any way, shape or form. But the high priestess energy in reverse does indicate that this person's going to come out of the woodwork. They're coming out of hermit mode. We do have the Pisces Virgo axis, so somebody here could have a north node in one of those signs or maybe just have both of those signs in their chart. It's a strong indication, though, the same axis that you do, that I do have soulmates here. Yep, we've got the Queen of Swords. Be very discerning with this person. They're going to come out of the woodwork when you least expect it. 
and yeah, eight of swords energy. I think you're going to be able to get your, get out of your head about this person because you are going to get some type of clarity about how they feel or how they're, how they, you know, how they feel, how they perceive you, how they perceive the connection. But so for others of my Sagittarius, you know, the queen of swords, she's worked really hard to get herself off of, you know, the crazy train off of this merry-go-round. So you want to be careful because if this is a, a connection that does drain your energy or it has drained your energy too much, um, page of wands energy in reverse, you might not want to take a leap of faith here. So it's really going to be up to you. It really does depend, Sag, on what this person, um, what this person did or, you know, didn't do in this connection. So just again, messages and advice here are to be very, very discerning. All right, I've got like a really trembly little little dog on my lap, so I do apologize. All right, let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my Sagittarius. What else do we need to know about this person? Um, sometime this year, so it's going to happen within the next, you know, between now and 2025. Spirit's saying give it time, or they're giving it time. This person might act like they're having a lot of fun. Again, I do feel like looks are deceiving here for sure. With that justice card in reverse they're probably acting like they're moving on they're having a great time they're going out all the time but they're definitely trying to control the narrative control the optics control how you see them because they want you to there's a part of them that wants you to feel like you didn't make that big of an impact on them sag so just be aware of that it could just be that they're in a distorted masculine energy where they're just not comfortable sharing their own feelings or really you know letting people know how you know how hurt they are really or that they messed up so let's see what they want to say to my Sagittarius, please. All right, we've got solitude. Please understand I need space and time to work through my own issues. They are definitely doing that to some degree. Yeah, and they feel like they're being put to the test. They need to lean on you for strength and, and encouragement. So they do really miss you. They are really struggling without you. They're really struggling with this connection and what has happened here. And yeah, my children's needs come first. For some of you, they are a single parent. But we do see this person wants you to know that they're evolving. I've put away the past. I'm ready to step up and be the person that I need to be. So Sag, you're going to have to be discerning whether or not you believe them or if that is enough. But for sure, you're going to get communication. Um, but just make sure this isn't something, you know, sometimes, you know, people reach out and they want closure or they want to clear the air and it can just really rip open an old wound. So you do want to just be careful about that. All right, let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance spirit has for my Sagittarius, please. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Sagittarius, please. All right, we've got sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. Okay, so there could be a very passionate renewal here. Just, you know, make sure, though, that it's not all that, that what needs to be talked about gets talked about. And Spirit saying, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So, Sad, just do a little check-in with yourselves. Like, is this a connection that you really want to come back around? Do you need healing and closure from this person? Um, with the sexual union card, again, I do think that there's a really strong chance that there could be a physical reunion here between the two of you. But can this person offer you the stability and security that you're looking for? Um, Spirit saying, take that time in hermit mode to do that self-care and just imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So I do feel that for some of you, maybe it's 50-50 out there. Spirit saying that, yes, this has been hard. This is something that you need to heal from. Do what you got to do, but don't close down to possibilities, other possibilities or different people. Okay, and then for others of you, this new opportunity is a restart here. So you're going to have to let me know down below in the description box, not in the description box, in the comment section, Sag, how this might resonate with you. If these messages do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe.